still scared because the glass is thin. Why am I so scared? It's just cause I don't know, like this is a little different. I don't wanna crack the eggs. What's up JT, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Trinity. All you have to do is click subscribe to join the family. So how many of y'all have seen this glass pot scrolling on your feed on TikTok or Instagram. I've seen this a lot and whenever I see it, it's definitely satisfying. People have fried with this pot, boiled things with this pot, everything with this pot. And while it does look very satisfying, I had to ask myself like, okay, um, is it worth it? And the big question is where do I find it? And of course it's on Amazon. I actually did purchase this pot a while ago. I'm about to put that pot to the test. Okay, cause I have to see it for myself, okay? The internet likes to play games, we know this. So I'm gonna be boiling things, frying things, we gonna really see even the cleaning process. And I'm a little nervous because I um, read that these type of glass pots like to explode. Articles are talking about how glass pots explode. Now, are we talking about this exact pot? No, maybe. I don't know. This is what the box looks like. I mean, it, it kind of went through some things, but this is what the box looks like. There's no English on this box, so I'm not exactly sure um, what it says, which is also scary, yet people have used this on TikTok, like they made food and everything. People just trusted the product, pretty much. You know, I'm assuming this is what it can um, make. I, I, look. I'm not, I'm not really sure, okay? But it seems like these symbols right here represent that it is dishwasher safe. I know that this one means that. I don't know what that means. I think this, uh, I don't know. I don't, I have no clue. So it is gonna come with a lid. A little ASMR. It comes with a, I believe, cleaning brush. Pretty sure this is like a cleaning brush. Oh, well, I actually like this. I could use this for bottles, for baby bottles, okay. Oh, wow, okay, so it did come with some form of instructions, I guess, or, or caution. Heat resistant, the glass pot with cover, withstands temperature zero Fahrenheit to 400 Fahrenheit, suitable for all kinds of environments. Electric infrared stove, oven, refrigerator, dishwasher, and microwave safe. Whoa, microwave safe? Okay. Matters needing attention. The glass saucepan is most afraid, wait, not them talking about this like it's a real person. Okay, the glass saucepan is most afraid of alternating hot and cold. Now that's fair, I get that, I get that. For an example, if you take it out of the refrigerator and heat it on the stove, it will definitely be damaged. Does that mean explode? We don't know. The correct method is to pour some warm water and let the glass heat up before heating. In addition, please do not use a fierce fire, heating, heating with gas on the minimum fire or heating with an induction cooker. Be sure to pay attention to these. Thanks for using our product. Well, I mean, they said what they said and I appreciate this. Being that I really didn't know what was gonna be in this box that was gonna be in English, thank you. Educating the customer, that's good. Now, I did think it was gonna be bigger than this. I ain't even gonna lie. It definitely does need to be washed, but it's cute. It's cute, I like it. I just wish it was bigger, but then again, am I really gonna be using this heavy, heavy? Probably not. Let's go ahead and wash this first, and then we can get started. I actually bought like safety glasses for this. I don't know if I'm gonna put them on. Should I though? This better not explode on me. That's why I'm doing this for content because I need some insurance, okay? Felt like I heard something over there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna test with this glass pot is boiling an egg. I haven't ate anything all day, I'm hungry. So I wanna see the boiling process and I'm expecting this to be really, really cool 
So let's go for it. I'm excited. I am going to fill it up with warm water because I don't want the water to be cold. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I do not want this thing to explode. So I'm trying to follow directions really, 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 really clear. While we wait for it to get to a boil, let's look at some of the Amazon reviews. Cause I'm just curious to know what are the people saying? You know, like let's, let's check that out. Plus let's, let's move away uh, from this for a little. Okay. So I wish I knew exactly which one, um, I purchased from I see three on here but the reviews ultimately are good scrolling scrolling I don't see any exp whoa now now someone has a story there came shattered okay it came shattered good good that makes me feel a little better hopefully they helped you out girl hopefully got your money back this person gave three stars small and thin well it is small and it is thin i think it's very misrepresented by the photo i'm afraid to put it on my stove and after reading several views on it and seeing that it has shattered several times oh i may just turn it into a planter oh my gosh Y'all, I'm low-key scared. That's why I'm recording this, because I promise you, if anything happens to me, like, I'm going to have proof. I will sue. And I follow directions. A lot smaller than expected. Yes, same here. I do agree. It, it was a little smaller than I, than I thought, so they're not really happy about the price of it for it being so small. I don't really see any reviews saying that it's shattered, though. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's go to one star. One star. Cheap glass. I was so disappointed it arrived shattered. Okay, it arrived shattered. It did not shatter on you. Okay, very thin glass. On the, okay, very easy to break. Yes, but it did not shatter on you small the item okay all right broken the item was broken in pieces when it arrived all right it didn't shatter on you see people be lying people be lying so no one is actually saying hey while I was cooking it shattered on me no one is saying that so y'all like that last person, you not right for doing that. You know what I'm saying? You not right for bringing that up, making everybody think that it shattered when there's no proof that's backing that it actually shattered on, on, on people. This is why you gotta read reviews. Get your facts. I'm big on facts, okay? I don't be just listening to what other people say. That's not me. I'm going to, let me see the facts. Let me see the case studies. Let me show y'all what this pot's doing. Come on. It seems like it's getting there. You know, it's gonna let sign sign. But I mean, I need it to boil. Maybe I should have put the lid on. You know what? Mm. Um. Maybe I should put the lid on. While we wait, let me tell y'all about HelloFresh if you don't know, because I recently had this delicious meal from HelloFresh. This spring, HelloFresh is taking the hassle out of meal time by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your doorstep. So this day I decided to prepare the crispy Parmesan chicken and I was so excited to see the couscous. I love couscous. And let's take a moment to look at these carrots, y'all. Look at these carrots. With HelloFresh, they are giving you quality ingredients. Their ingredients try Travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know they're fresh. Most of y'all know that I'm still on my health journey of just becoming overall healthier and HelloFresh is helping me do that just because the ingredients are fresh. They're very transparent about how long it takes to cook, how long it takes to prep, and also the calories. It look good but do it taste good? We about to find out. We about to find out. So excited to try this. Mmm. If you would like to try HelloFresh, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code TRINITY50 for 50% 50 off plus your first box ships free. Okay, so it is boiling. It do look cool. I get it. I get it. It's time to put the eggs in, y'all. We gonna do a couple eggs because I think I'm gonna make some deviled eggs. I'm still scared. I'm still scared. Because the glass is thin. Why am I so scared? It's just because I don't know. Like, this is a little different. I don't want to crack the eggs either. So I try to be gentle because I'm known to, like, drop them hard. Man, one was already cracked in there. Oh, I can't stand when that happens.
The eggs are in. I am gonna turn down the temperature a little. So we're gonna go like medium. Um, I'm gonna set a timer for 12. I believe, yeah, that's that's the rule of thumb for eggs. I think 12 minutes. You put the top on, let it do its thing for 12 minutes. It has been 12 minutes. Just so you know, the top is hot. It would be just a, a nice add-on if they made it to where the tips weren't hot, like the lid where you pick this up. You know what I'm saying? Just throwing it out there. All right, I'm gonna put these in some cold water. It's crazy because usually I would just take this and you know, but we ain't gonna do that. We trying to follow directions. We don't want it to explode. <laughs> Now, let's peel these eggs and see how well they're cooked. Well, you know when you made your eggs the right way when the shell is just coming off. And it is. I'm telling you, if you time your eggs perfectly, bring your water to a boil, drop in your eggs, put on the lid, turn it off, or low heat, set a 12 minute timer, you'll get a perfect egg. I got that from Gordon Ramsay. I'm really excited about these eggs because I saw this on, was it Instagram or uh, TikTok? One of them. And they made like these spring deviled eggs. That's what I'm gonna do with these eggs, y'all. Make sure to follow me on TikTok so you can see how they turned out. <sighs> Hopefully it works. Um, I know people are probably gonna flame me in the comments of TikTok, but YouTube, I can tell y'all straight up, like it is just for the look. It's just for the fun. I think I'm probably gonna also have to even change up my actual deviled eggs recipe just to kind of fit the look, but it's cool. Like I'm just doing it for fun. Like I already know people gonna be in that comment section. Y'all know how TikTok is. So far, I love this pot. But I can tell you right now, I'll probably only use it for content, just to give a little <laughs> to my content. That's about it. Now that we know that it did pass the boil test to boil an egg, and the eggs turned out perfectly, let me show y'all what I'm doing with these eggs. Just a sneak peek, but like I said, follow me on TikTok. There they are, I already cut them in half and all of that. Like I said, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. I promise you we'll be seeing the final results. But now it's time to fry. Now, that is, that's what gets me a little nervous right there. It's the fry because the chicken has to be in there for a longer amount of time. The oil has to get really, really hot. And um, I don't know, we gonna, we gonna see. What exactly am I going to fry today? I'm gonna be making some mustard chicken wings. Some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not, but a great way to add a lot of flavor to your chicken wings is adding mustard to the batter. Now I don't make my wings like this all the time, but it's just another way to switch it up. Sometimes you just kinda have the same old, same old fried chicken and you just wanna switch it up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. My wings are nice and cleaned. And all of that, you know. Time to add some seasoning on these boys. And of course, mustard. Wait, first, we're going to get this burner going with the oil on like we would usually do. A fresh batch of oil right here, y'all. I need some chapstick. My lips are so dry. This is how high it's going to go. I'm even scared for it to even like Oh my Lord, help me, Jesus. I'm gonna sit it right there and let it get nice and hot. Let's put the lid on. Is this gonna work though? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Back to the wings. Already portioned out my seasonings and everything ahead of time. I'm gonna be using the classic yellow mustard and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Why Dijon? Because it's a little bit more like powerful, a little bit more spicy. It's just gonna elevate that. This is a little different. I don't see a lot of people use Dijon mustard on their mustard-based battered wings, but I am. So just a spoon and yellow mustard. And my seasoning mix concoction right here. Add in the seasoning. Make sure to mix it really, 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 really well. Really well. This is how coated your wings should be. With that seasoning, as you can see, I'm not adding all of my seasoning. I'm only making five wings. You know, we don't need all that. Plus it's gonna be seasoning in the flour, so come on, come on now. Time to add some more seasoning to the flour. And now I'm gonna just throw my chicken in. 
like this. Just put it all up in there. That's how you make them quick wings, honey. Quick wings, quick wings. Time to shake it up. Coat it, honey. Coat it. All right, now, time to put it in this oil. Let's test this oil. Good thing I ate a lot of sushi. All right, bubbles are forming. That means it's ready. It better be. Shake off the wing. Drop it in. I need to get some baking soda. I need to get some baking soda just in case. Am I really about to drop these wings one at a time? This ain't big enough. Okay, so while this fries, a few things, a few tips if you don't fry wings like that. Make sure your wings are room temperature when you fry them. If they're not, they're gonna disrupt the cooking time. Crispy. Adding two wasn't too, too bad. Ooh. Just be very careful, y'all. Honestly, don't fill it up this high. I don't want anything to happen. I'm willing to risk it all. I don't want nobody else to. So I'm gonna take these last two out. I do think it is a little too high. I wouldn't recommend filling it up this high, but, you know. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Turning it off. And I'm plugging it. Okay, so it look good, but do it taste good? I'm about to find out. Nice and hot still. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. 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 I did that. Listen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so hot i'm over here crying in conclusion is this glass pot worth it it depends on who's buying for me personally i'm a content creator i would only as a content creator i would only and only bought this pot for content and will only use this pot for content. If you're someone that just enjoys cooking and being in the kitchen, if this is going to add to your happiness in your life, even if you're not posting on social media, then go off. There's nothing wrong with that. I actually did read that you can use this pot for other things like a planter. I think that's actually pretty cool because you'll be able to kind of like see things grow. It's it's a clear pot. Now, if you don't cook like that, you don't care that much about being on social media, all that, then don't buy this pot. But overall, the pot did stand up. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it did back up what it's supposed to back up. So for that reason, I would recommend this pot. I do have more trust in this pot. So now I'm probably not gonna be scared to cook with this pot because I wasn't sure at first. If you care to purchase this pot, I do have a link below. I do have a storefront and it's gonna take you exactly to that pot that I purchased from because there's like 10 of them out there. Before you click off, don't forget to like the video. Big shout out to the J team. If you wanna shout out like them, all you have to do is click subscribe and turn on the notification bell and let me know below. And that's it. Make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.